Good morning, Pirate Nation. I'm Idriam Malave. And I'm Veronica Santana. I hope you are all doing well. Today in this episode, information on yearbooks, AVID, and after-school study groups will be provided. Finally, our most awaited activity of the year, Spirit Week 2024. This, this is, is Pirate, Pirate News, News Network. Network. Welcome to our newly reinvented weekly news program. Let's talk about some new announcements that are taking place in our school. All classes! Remember to buy your book and support until it's high school. Remember, it is not only for seniors, it is for all of us. Let's go, Pirates. Order a yearbook today. Ivan would like to invite you, as a part of their community, to join study group sessions during seminar in 107. However, do not forget that our school offers after-school tutoring in the library Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 2.40 to 4 p.m. Late buses will be provided. Spirit Week is just around the corner, March 18th through 22. The dress-up days have been officially announced. Monday, Childhood Cartoon Day. Tuesday, Dynamic Duo Day. Wednesday, Cowboy Day. Thursday, Pirate Day. And lastly, Friday, Class Color Day. Remember to follow class and school dress code. Lastly, a reminder that if you're not part of a team or after-school activity with a sponsor, you cannot hang out around school after school hours. Now, I will leave you with Gabriel and Marcel, who have a special segment for you guys. Hey, my name is Marcel Bencourt, and today you're watching the AHS Sports segment. So we're here in the gym, and uh, we have just encountered Jairo, who just re recently ran a marathon in uh, San Blas. So, Jairo, is it okay if we could uh, have a couple of minutes of your time to interview you really quick? Sure, man. All right, thank you very much. Very busy man, as you can see. So, Jairo, yeah. you just ran a marathon in San Blas. Can you tell me what that marathon is and how you were able to run it at just 17 years old? Um, this marathon consists of 30 miles, half marathon. It is a very challenging one. People from other side of the world come, like for example Africa. They come from there and not, not everyone can complete it. That's very interesting. So can you talk me through the process of how you were able to prepare yourself mentally and uh, physically for this race? Um, I, um, it was very mental, more mental than physical. You need to train every day to achieve it, but men uh, definitely mental is more difficult than physical. All right. So uh, we know that you've been a basketball player since you were very little, but recently running has been your hobby of choice or your sport of choice. So can you tell us a little bit more of what got you into running? Okay, so running, it, uh, I saw that I in running, I I was like it, uh, doing better, and it changed my physical. So I just enjoy running, and I just look up for trainers who can coach me and be better every day. Uh, we know that your cousin Melvin is also a successful runner. Do you see yourself running in any races with them in the future? Yes, absolutely. I would like to train. What races would you like to run with your cousin? I would like to run a, a full marathon with him. A full marathon? Yeah. Oh, sweet. And uh, we know that you're very big on family. You're a family man. Can you explain t to us what your family has been, you know, helping you through this entire process with the marathon and all the ones coming forward? Okay, so um, my family, they are my biggest supporter. They, are every, they see me every day when I go to train, when I come back, and they mean a lot for me. Uh, to wrap this up a little bit, because we know you're very busy, uh, since this is not going to be the last we see of you in any marathon, can you name three big marathons that you would like to race in the future? Okay, so in the future, I would like to run, I would like to prepare myself to run some full marathons, which consist of 26 miles. I would like to run the New York City, Marathon, Chicago, and Boston. So very nice. Well, it was good to meet you, Yaro. Yes. Uh, sorry to bother your training, but thank you very much for your time. It's okay, man. All right. So you are now watching the AHS TV Sports segment. Thank you, and stay tuned for more. Inspired by the National Education Association, Read Across America Day on March 1st, 2024, students of the Department of Defense Education Activity, DODEA, schools in the United States, Europe and the Pacific will join millions of their peers around the U.S. to read across Dodea. 
It's a day for our schools across Zodia to join each other in the nation in celebrating the importance of encouraging literacy for all ages. The celebration does not stop after March 1st, but continues throughout the entire month. Hi, my name is Alia Olmo. And I'm Angeli Fontane. And this is a special program for International Women's Day. What does gender equality mean to you and why is it important? So gender equality means to me that you are prepared and able to do and have the opportunities to be given to you to do whatever it is you want to do. How can we empower women in our everyday lives? by letting them know that they have a say in what they believe in. The campaign theme for International Women's Day 2024 is Inspire Inclusion. When we inspire others to understand and value women's inclusion, we forge a better world. The woman that has inspired me to become who I am today is my mom. And when women themselves are inspired to be included, there's a sense of belonging, relevance, and empowerment. Um, as an engineer, when I started, not everything was equal opportunity. So I think that's extremely important for all people to have the same opportunity. As a woman and as a businesswoman, it's the time to really reach out to each other. que a todas esas mujeres que me ven y me escuchan, estudia, supérate, porque el conocimiento es poder y eso va a cambiar también. Collectively, let's forge a more inclusive world for women. Give, give that part of the human race, women, the opportunity to educate in whatever they want, their potential, without any limits. Let us become, because when we can dream, it's limitless. Okay. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs>